very good morning to all of you today we are going to discuss on the difference between 8086 and 8088 we have already seen the architecture pin diagram and uh, and minimum mode and maximum mode of 8086 now we can see the difference between 8086 and 8088 microprocessor the microprocessor 8088 has all the programming facilities that 8086 has also some hardware features like a 1 megabytes memory addressing capability operating mode minimum mode and maximum mode interrupt structure uh, etc so we can see some differences are there uh, in the case of 8088 the data bus is only 8 bits we have already seen the data bus of 8086 is 16 bits but here it is only 8 bits then the address lines that is common that is the same for both that means 8086 has in 20 address lines and 8088 also has uh, 20 address lines and three uh, available clock speeds are there 8088 5 megahertz 8088 2 that is 8 megahertz 80c88 that is 0 to 8 megahertz and we have already seen that is it has 20 address lines so it can it it has a 20 megabytes of memory space it can address 1 mega sorry it has address 1 megabytes of memory space because it has 20 address lines then both having uh, 40 pin dip and uh, the fourth point you can see that in in the case of 8086 the memory control pin is m or io bar but in the case of 8088 it has complemented memory control pin that is io or m bar and next is bhe signal we already seen in 8086 but um, in the case of 8088 doesn't require uh, that bhe bar because it has only um, 8 bit data bus so instead of that it has a status signal that is sso then the next point actually it can read and write either 8 bit or 16 bit word at the same time in the case of 8086 but in the case in case of 8088 it can read only 8 bit word at the same time and both support say minimum mode and maximum mode Uh, and the, th the next difference is actually in the case of 8086 we have already seen it has a 6 byte instruction queue but in the case of 8088 it has 4 byte instruction queue as it can fetch only 1 byte at a time and both having nine flags so these are the difference between 8086 and 8088 so the main differences are um, for um, are, um, in the case of 8088 the data bus is 8 bits but in the case of 8086 it has 16 bits so uh, then the next point was uh, the pre coded uh, coded uh, that code queue length is reduced to 4 bytes in the case of 8088 whereas the 8086 queue contains 6 bytes so this was done to avoid unnecessary prefetch operations and optimize the use of the bus by um, bus interface unit while prefetching the instruction so the 8086 bus interface unit will fetch a byte from the memory to load the queue each time uh, if at least one byte is free uh, we have already seen in the case of 8086 at least two byte should be free for the next fetch operation but here it require only one byte should be free then the overall execution time of the instructions in 8088 is affected by the 8 bit external data bus all the 16 bit operations now require additional four clock cycles because it has only 8 bit data bus so uh, for performing a 16 bit operation it require additional clock four clock cycles the cpu speed is also limited by the speed of the instruction fetches and now we can see the pin diagram of 8088 and 8086 we can see that the pin number 28 in the case of 8086 it is m or io bar here it is io or m bar and instead of uh, bhe that is pin number 37 here we have sso that is status signal output and then uh, in the case this a a a to a15 already latched all time valid um, address bus so these are the differences in the case of this pin diagram and uh, we can see this uh, control signal that is sso that is start in system status um, uh, output line that is uh, that is all is equal to 1 when data is read from the memory and that is equal to 0 when the code is read from the memory 
and we can see the different combinations of this um, IO or M bar and uh, DT or R bar and uh, um, SSO. So uh, we can see uh, this, um, uh, these three uh, pins uh, that are decoded to interpret the activities of the microprocessor. Uh, we can see 000 means interrupt acknowledge, 001 means memory read, 010 memory write, 011 that is hard, and 100 opcode fetch, 101 that is IO read, 110 IO write, and 111 passing. Now we can see the read and write cycle timing diagram of 8088. And mm, we already seen that um, for a, uh, each bus cycle contains T1, T2. T, T3, TW, and T4 stages. Uh, here we can see that the ALE signal that goes high uh, for during T1 uh, and the trailing edge of ALE is uh, used to latch the valley that is available on the multiplex lines. Then the remind valley on the bus for the next cycle that is T2 and here we can see that the middle uh, 8 address bits that means um, a8 to A15 that are always present on the bus throughout the bus cycle and the lower order address bus that is tri stated after T2 to change its direction for read data operation. Then the actual data transfer takes place during T3 and T4. So the data lines are valid in T3 or T4 and, and we can see that um, the status lines are valid over the multiplexed address or status bus for T2, T3 and T4 clock cycles and the multiplexed bus is again tri-stated to ready for next, um, next bus cycle after T1. And in the case of write cycle, the timing diagram is similar to the read cycle except for the validity of data. In write cycle, the data bus are valid on the bus for T2, T3, TW and T4. And uh, after uh, T4, the, at the end of the T4, we can see that the bus is tri-stated. Other signals like RD bar, um, INTA bar, ready, RT or R bar, BN bar, WR bar that are similar to 8086 timing. Thank you.